right. Hi, Marine Ecology. Uh, right now, we are going to work on um, calculating species evenness. So this is uh, figuring out like what proportion each species is of all of the species that we found in the samples that we took. Um, and I say we, somebody else obviously uh, took this data for us. Um, so the first thing you need to do, because we're calculating a percentage and a percentage is a part of the whole, uh, we need to figure out what the whole is. So we need to calculate what is the total number of organisms that were found in all of these samples. So to do that, we're first gonna add up the total number of organisms that were found in each individual sample. All right, so in this first quadrat that was measured in patch, oyster reef patch number one, um, we are going to uh, click this cell at the end of that row of data and we're gonna type in equals and sum. Google very helpfully uh, recommended that for us. Um, and we're gonna highlight, after we open the parentheses, then we're gonna highlight all of the counts of the organisms um, that we wanna add up. All right, so we're adding up all of the 309 oysters, the seven anemones, the five ribbed mussels, the one hard clam, the eight barnacles, the one mud crab, the 32 other mud crabs, uh, and the Neridae worms there. And we get that formula there. Um, and so Google has very helpfully su uh, suggested to autofill all the way down. And if you get this option, take it. It's a good option. But just in case you don't get this option, I'm gonna show you another way to do this. Um, so if you did not get that option to autofill, then you're gonna go back up here, you're gonna click the cell that you use that formula in, and then you're going to highlight all the cells down that you wanna copy that formula to. Um, and so now I have very quickly calculated the total number of species in each sample that was taken. Um, and now I wanna look up or I wanna figure out what is the total number of species in all of the samples taken. Uh, so I'm gonna add up all of these species, um, all of the species counts up, or all of the individual organisms count, sorry, up above here. So we're just gonna use that sum function again, um, but we're gonna add up all of these cells instead of the cells over to the left. All right, so we're gonna type equal sign to tell it that it's a, um, a function that it's going to calculate and we're going to do sum and it already knows what I want to do. I want to do this L9 through L2, but I'm going to type it anyway. And then hit enter. All right, an array value could not be found. What did I do wrong? Oh, huh. I didn't actually type my function. That's helpful. I have to tell it what I want it to do not just expect it to know. Okay, great. All right, so now we are going to um, figure out the percentage that each species makes up of the entire sample, of all the, all the samples. All right, so for our oysters, um, so to calculate a percentage, we need the part divided by the whole and then multiply by 100, um, hence the cent is part of 100. <laughs> So here we're gonna type in equal sign and we're gonna add up. So it kind of already, nope, it didn't guess appropriately. Uh, so we're gonna add up. So we're gonna use sum again, um, all of these cells right up above it and actually, uh, and then divide that by the value over here in L10, L, yeah, L10. Um, so I can just type in the dollar sign and then click that. Nope, no, I can't. All right, L10. Um, so putting the dollar sign in front of that cell value, uh, make sure that that cell value doesn't ever change in the formula. So that's now a constant, um, whereas all of these are variables and they'll change when you copy the formula over. All right, and then I put my whole entire phrase in um, parentheses, and now I'm gonna multiply by 100 to make it a percentage. All right, and then we're gonna copy that formula again. So we're gonna copy it over to the right this time for all of our species. Ta-da! Alrighty, there we go. All 